today, we're gonna add to the arsenal again. So the current plan is to run down to the same place that I bought my hay wagon last year. And we're going to get a low pro bale carrier from Stoltzfus. So a low pro bale carrier, we actually borrowed our, well, borrowed one last year from the neighbors in this video here. And what this allows us to do is really to reduce time in moving bales. So in the past, you know, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and I would pick up two bales, one on the front, one on the back, um, and we would taxi those bales to wherever we wanted to store them. This wagon will allow us to taxi 10 at a time. We don't have a skid steer, so we have to load them and unload them with either the 806 with the spear or the John Deere. So, I, in essence, I will be able to taxi 12 bales at a time. 10 on the wagon and two on the uh, tractor itself. So, should increase hay moving abilities uh, and make it a lot quicker by by getting this wagon. So this wagon is made by a company called Stoltzfus Manufacturing. I've always thought it was a, I, I thought it was pronounced Stoltzfus, but it is Stoltzfus. They are out of Pennsylvania and they sell to a number of different, you know, retailers. And the closest retailer to us is uh, Brown's Tractor in Periopolis, Pennsylvania. So that's where we're heading right now. And I am actually going to tow this thing home. So it should be a nice long trip home. Nailed it! Here we go. Time to drag the wagon home. And welcome back. So the weather was terrible when I picked up that uh, round bale low pro carrier. So I figured I'd show it to you now a little bit more since we have better weather. So this is a 10 bale bale carrier, low pro bale carrier made by Stoltzfus. You can see it right there. Um, so a bale will sit on either end of this, two above the wheels, and then three up in front to the tongue. This is the same exact style of trailer used in this video. Very bumpy. Chuck can't see me. Look out for the big holes, Charles. And it was so nice um, that I wanted to get one for the farm and quit borrowing the neighbors. Um, once again, I appreciate everything that they do for us. So let us borrow stuff like that. But yeah, uh, this one has old, this does not have implement tires on it. It's got old truck tires. Uh, these are 10 ply tires, so they should last us a while. And uh, yeah, getting old truck tires shouldn't be an issue either. Hopefully we can find cheap ones when we need them. But yeah, so everything, no brakes on this thing. Uh, the tractor holds it back. When we use this for silage, we probably will not fill it up with all 10 bales. So this silage bales can be anywhere between 12 to 1400 pounds. And you know, you take that 14,000 pounds coming down off the hill, 12,000 to 14,000 pounds coming off the hill, it's a lot of weight. So probably only put eight on here when, when we're moving silage, but dry hay, first cutting, second cutting, uh, no, no problem. We'll be able to, to load her up. So yeah, I got one more thing to show you. We had babies. Oh, you're not going to, you're seriously going to block me. The viewers want to see the babies. So you saw the baby that we have over there and we had another baby in the back. Uh, so Honey Bun, the one laying down, had one. And I think the other one was Tootsie Roll, if I'm not mistaken. She had the other baby. Um, these babies are going to be named after Christmas. So I think 
One's Jingle Bell, and the other one is, I don't remember. Nisiana's gonna be so mad at me. Nisiana, name those cattle. Hi everyone, so right now, our cow Honey Bun just had a baby. We don't know when, we don't know what hour. We just came in and said, hey, is that a baby calf? And that was. So if it's a girl, it's gonna name Jingle Bells. And if it's a boy, we're gonna name it Santa. We just need to figure out it's a boy or a girl. If you can see its belly button, that is not a boy sign. That's just its disgusting belly button. So we got these, uh, these bred cows off of Autumn Ridge Farms which is close to our place. They are definitely some, uh, some tame beef cattle. Good mothers. You know, they had, uh, they had these calves on the ground and had them drinking really quickly, under an hour or so. Here, let everybody see you. They wanna see you. You coming over for some loving too. Yes, yes, yes. You like your head rubbed. I know, I know. Oh! There's the babies. So it's finally that time of the year. Whoa, almost slipped and fell. It's that time of the year and uh, yeah, so we're getting cattle on the ground. We've had our first few baby goats and uh, yeah, more to come on that stuff. But thanks for tuning in guys. If you have, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. We are at 8.05, I think, 8.05. So make sure, get on there, subscribe, get us to a thousand and uh, follow us on all social media platforms at Rocky Acres Farmstead. We'll see you. Low Pro Bale Carrier has uh, a number of different things that it can do. That's dumb, delete this.